The federal government says it won't challenge Washington and Colorado's legalization of recreational marijuana for now with eight conditions. Among those, the states must prevent the distribution of marijuana to minors, revenue from going to criminals, and trafficking across state lines. Well, that was already um, the plan for us was to abide by those eight guidelines anyways, so it really doesn't affect us um, one way or the other. Southern Oregon Alternative Medicine says it would already be in compliance with these guidelines if a similar law were to pass in Oregon. It adds its focus isn't on the passage of such legislation. Southern Oregon Alternative Medicine's focus is on the medical community and the medical cannabis industry, and that's where my focus lies. I'm not vested either way in full legalization. Brent Kenyon is the owner and director of the clinic. He says the federal government's stance on the Washington and Colorado laws gives them hope federal resources won't be used to bother businesses like his. This definitely benefits the medical community to remind us that they are not going to be focusing uh, federal law enforcement dollars on um, trying to counteract something that the state, not only the state groups in this state, but also our representatives have now addressed um, this particular uh, medical marijuana deal. Kenyon adds legalization for recreational use of pot in Oregon wouldn't change the need for the properties of different strains of wheat his future dispensary would offer. The amount of THC in a particular cannabis and also we're finding the amount of CBD which is an active compound in cannabis that's non-psychoactive and that's the one we're focusing on for medical use. Covering your news in Medford, Jessica Denova, News 10.